So I got a 390 hertz monitor for Osu. No way, 500 PP with 390 hertz? <gasps> oh my God, yo. 471 PP. Yes, I got a 390 hertz monitor, which is a higher refresh rate than I even ever wanted to try. And in this video, you're gonna see me share my thoughts on the monitor, talk about if there's any benefit to it, and see me rank up an incredible amount with the 390 hertz monitor. But before we get to all of that, I wanna take you guys to the beginning where I first got the monitor and had my first experiences with it. You see, this all started when Ed BTMC hosted his big Osu LAN tournament recently, the Round Table. And something that really caught my interest from this tournament is that two of the setups had 360 hertz monitors. So I was gonna get one and try it out for a video, but it turns out after doing some research, there's a 390 hertz monitor that is apparently both better and somehow less expensive than like every 360 hertz monitor. So of course, I got the monitor, unboxed it with some help, set it up on my desk, and then it was time for me to turn on my camera, play a map in Osu with it, and record my immediate first impressions. It's really easy to FC maps with this monitor. That wasn't like that much PP, but like, I mean, I ranked up. I just, I literally just pressed start recording to do a little first impression of like, what is it like to play Osu with this monitor? And it's it's a farm map, but I mean, it's high AR. I played it, as, I played it once. So, you know, interesting first impressions for the 390 Hertz monitor is me getting PP and FCing a map before I even speak. Those are my first impressions. Maybe it's placebo, you know, you never know. Oh, little did I know then the insane rank gains that would soon come. So after recording that, I decided to wait until the next day on my stream to use the monitor more and just stream my experience of getting used to the monitor. And that's what I did. For anyone wondering, we do indeed have that 390 Hertz refresh rate. It's pretty insane. There's definitely a noticeable difference, even though it's minimal, but there's 100% a noticeable feeling difference between this and like 240 hertz and uh, it definitely makes things look nicer but the question is how is it on average in terms of my performance do I feel like there's a genuine you know benefit of playing Osu with this and so I went ahead and warmed up with the monitor and the main first thing I noticed other than it looking nicer was that my cursor was easier to track with my eyes it's like it was a little easier to read patterns and follow my cursor more clearly especially when it was moving faster and I really didn't expect this, but the jump in refresh rate from 240Hz, what I was used to, was definitely noticeable, and I found myself FCing maps while warming up, and even gaining a little bit of PP. There we go. Give me my top 50, DT number one. Wait, I did get one PP. <laughs> Gaining PP during warm up. It's the 390 Hertz monitor. Gaining PP during warm up. Yo, it's all thanks to the monitor. <laughs> top 10 on the map, only just 390 Hertz things, guys. Pay to win. After that, I was asked to try playing AR11 because of course the general thought about higher refresh rates in Osu is more Hertz equals easier to read higher AR. But I've never been able to read AR11 at all. I'm just not used to it even remotely. But I tried it anyway and played the classic baby's first AR11 map, OK Dad, with DTHR. And I actually one missed and got my best AR11 score on the map. 
Now I still got a C. It's not like I was suddenly able to read AR11, but it definitely felt way easier to get what I would normally consider a really lucky run on the map. So at this point, after getting used to the monitor and trying it out on my stream and getting some PP with it, I came away realizing that while this super high refresh rate seemed to be helping me a lot, it wasn't making me any better at the game as much as it was allowing me to be more consistent with the skill that I already had. Maybe I'm taking five tries instead of 10 to FC something, for example, but I can't FC or play anything that I couldn't at all before. Now, does making your cursor a little easier to track and having a slight consistency boost make it worth dropping? dropping $300 to $400 on a monitor like this? Eh. So what have I learned? There's a surprisingly noticeable difference with 390Hz even coming from 240. It seems to help me be more consistent, and it's easier to track my cursor. And I could end this video there with my thoughts about the monitor said and done, and that is originally where this video was gonna end. But remember when I said I gained an incredible amount of ranks while using this monitor? Well, in the weeks following those first impressions that I recorded, Recorded, I have been zooming through the ranks. I've gained like 500 ranks. I hit 10 KPP. My profile accuracy is the highest it's ever been. I didn't expect any of this to happen. And uh, so I feel like I've got to include a bunch of PP scores in this video because I got them with the monitor. So yeah, it's time for a bit of a farming compilation. And this might be the most PP you will ever see me gain in one video. Also for some of these scores, I wasn't recording when I set them. So I like re-recorded and reenacted a couple of them so that you can see the hand cam and all of that. Anyway, enjoy. No way. 500 PP with 390 Hertz? It's all in the monitor. Yo, I've been cursed on this map for years. I finally just have seen it with a 99% thanks to the 390 Hertz. Yo, you could almost not tell that I was even uh, repeating the recording on that one until I brought up the thing at the bottom of the screen.
Oh my god. Yo! I'm pretty sure that's 500 in the rework. If not 500 now, that's like 490 something now. 500 in the rework? Yo! That's such a good accuracy. I'm reenacting. Reenacting my actual reactions because I didn't record when I got these plays. But that was, that was a real reaction when it happened. Oh my god, that accuracy is so good. Did that accurate look not only aim, but also we got those speed plays coming in with the 390 hertz monitor as well. Slider broke. It actually doesn't even matter because I still got a fuck ton of PP. Four hundred seventy-one PP. Cool. I'll take it. Look how unimpressed I've become with good PP for myself after being spoiled with so many scores with this monitor. Oh my god. Okay, there's still one play left. pretty all right. And there you go. There's even more scores that I didn't include, but I, I think that gives you a good idea of how things have gone for me over the past month that I've been playing with this monitor. And I think I can confidently say that my 390 hertz OSU experience has been has been pretty good. It's been pretty awesome. And I, I wasn't even planning on doing it, but I'm also sticking with this monitor. Like just as a monitor itself, it's, it's kind of nice. I kind of like it better than my previous monitor. So I got a good monitor, I got a good video, and I got PP. And I'm gonna end this video with a final disclaimer just like anything that's peripheral related for OSU, tablet, keyboard, mouse, monitor, you don't need the best to get good. You don't need the best to be the best. I've got a 390 hertz monitor and a great keyboard and a great tablet. Am I MREC? Am I anywhere close to his level of skill? Absolutely not. <laughs> Having some better peripherals or something like a 390 hertz monitor, a higher refresh rate, it might, like I found out for myself, allow you to use a bit more of your potential, use your skill, maybe more more consistently and that's pretty cool but I hope you guys enjoyed watching this has been a weird video to put together because I've had like so much footage to work with and it's been over the course of so many weeks but it's finally done I'm recording this outro please subscribe if you're not subscribed this took more effort than it probably looks like it took <laughs> like I said in the last video I'm slowly but surely trying to get back to weekly uploads that was two weeks ago so at least two weeks is better than one month between videos but yeah I'll see you guys in the next one goodbye